finally won an auction, or got it for a buy it now, of something that I need for an upcoming Toyaholic video. And I've mentioned this in the past, uh, that it was <laughs> a very costly auction that somebody won. And I couldn't understand why somebody had paid that much for a broken item. I said, I know why I need one. I need one for a video recreating something that happened to one of my toys when I was a kid. Uh, but why did somebody else drive the bidding up that high? Well, guess what? I think I paid even more for this auction than if I had bid on the previous one. So, But it was a buy it now, and it allowed me to get a headless Death Squad Commander. Now, the one of mine from childhood that got beheaded uh, was then used as a custom. So I have a custom figure where the outfit has been painted black that the head is glued back on. Uh, and I can see glue marks where somebody tried to glue this one back on. But that will allow me to um, put it on there and show to the camera how mine got beheaded back in 1978 or 1979. So, And I think actually this one, looking at his paint, aside from the fact that his neck post is severed, he's in better condition than one of the ones I bought, thinking, well, I'll buy this one and I'll behead it on camera. And I never could bring myself to do it. I, I was like, no, I, I cannot devalue something which inherently has value. Or, or did you saw the movie, um, One Crazy Summer, and it was the Curtis Armstrong role. And I've actually talked about this to Curtis Armstrong because I moderated a panel of his a couple years ago. And I said, uh, the character that was like, for every you know broken doll that they find washed up on the beach, somewhere there's a child crying. And I just... I think about that. I think about what these toys meant to me as a kid. And then, yeah, I've customized a few over the years, but they were always beaters that I customized. It wasn't until modern figures came out that I would go, well, I'm going to buy one to collect and one to customize. And I would chop up and, and devalue, um, you know, brand new, undamaged action figures. But for anything vintage, I try to go uh, <laughs> looking around until I find one that uh, nobody's going to cry over if I do something to it. So uh, I will temporarily put his head back on, behead him on camera, and then, as it so happens, I actually have a custom that would have required me to behead a Death Squad Commander anyway. So, thanks for watching.